hope you're all well. So this is Monster and Monster is seven and you love crafting, don't you? Yes. Yeah. What do you like doing more? Do you like working with the cricket or do you like sewing more? Uh it's a hard decision. It's a hard decision. Uh I'll say a bit of both. A bit of both? You like it when we do both, don't you? Yeah. You do. So we did our t-shirt with our iron-on and our washable pens, didn't we? And today we're going to make a t-shirt stencil using freezer paper. What you lost? I was going to show them the t-shirt. Ah, well, they can see that from the last video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They haven't seen it finished. Yeah. So we're going to use freezer paper today. And freezer paper works really well as a stencil on fabric. So this is freezer paper here, and you'll see it's got two sides to it. It's got a sticky matte side and a matte side. A matte side and a sticky side. The sticky side is quite shiny, isn't it? Yeah, the sticky side's like, like metallic white. Like metallic white, okay. So we're going to use kind a green... Kind of silverish colour. A bit like silver, isn't it? So we're going to use a green matte today, and you can put your freezer paper either matte side to the matte, or shiny side to the mat but if you're going to put it matte side you need to mirror it and if you're going to put it shiny side you Just don't need to mirror it. it yeah that's right do you want to go in with the, roller. with the roller and make sure that it's nice and adhered to the mat now I'm using the maker to cut it today and I'm using the freezer paper setting but if you are going to use your air you can just use a paper setting but please do make sure that you do a small test cut first you may need to up it to paper plus depending on how your machine is feeling on the day done done you've given that a nice yeah okay you put it in the machine uh, excuse you oh yes <laughs> There you go. You're a fidget bum today. Yeah. And we're going to take out the actual design. Not the paper. Not the paper, that's right. So, there's your weeding tool. So take out the G foot, that's it. I'll put that there. So Ginger's just going to come in with the scraper and just gently start removing it. And we want to be really gentle because we don't want to rip, rip it. it. like we did last time. Yeah. What's the temperature supposed to come up to now? It needs to be 315 for 15 to 20 seconds. We're going to do 20 seconds today. You're going to do it at the top bit. That's it. Press your C. Well done. The green sea. The green sea. What have you put there in between all the feathers? Uh, there you go. Put it back in its cradle. Well done. Okay, so now we've just got these few little bits. 
to add on. To add on. And that's the crown and the dots for the crown and my like, drum bits. Gonna go over the crown first. So I do it? Yeah. That's it, press your C. Then, once it's adhered, okay, we're gonna get our press and we're gonna put it in here so that it doesn't bleed through because we don't want the pen going over to the back, do we? No, and that happened for the problem last time. Yeah, but that's fine with the other pens because they're washable. Yeah. But these aren't washable. Come and sit yourself down. So we've got all these fabric pens here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got some tulip ones. And we've got these Unity Star ones, which Jen Jen got off Amazon. So bring all your pens out. Okay, and you're going to just colour in. And don't worry if you go on the paper because we're going to peel that off later. So just come in and colour. Like you normally would. You want to try and be a bit gentle though because you don't want it going underneath. So you do want to try and be a little bit gentle with it. you want to peel this away so you can do it don't worry if it rips it's not going to do anything to anything. no it's not going to do anything or unless it sticks and stays So it looks like we haven't used anything. We've just drawn it on there. Yep. That's the point of a stencil though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So it looks like you've just drawn it. So it looks like you've just drawn it. No, nothing. That's good. That's good, isn't it? Mm hmm Do you like that? Yep. I think you've done a great job. Haven't you? Mm-hmm. That's cool, isn't it? So which one do you prefer doing? Do you prefer doing the stencils or do you like doing the iron-on with the washable pens? Uh, stencils. Oh, you like doing the stencils? A bit of stencils and those pens because then it's like small gaps you can Yeah. just do it because in, with the other ones, with these ones, they're just flat on the outside and no little sharp bit. Oh, so you like the washable pens? Yeah, the washable pens and these ones because oh, okay. the big gaps are... Yeah. Like, Say that and then, like, you could go over it. Yeah. Again. But with these ones. They're here, darling. The tips are a bit different. Yeah, they're different tips, aren't yeah, they? The tips are, like, a bit different on the. Cause yeah. They're a bit sharper. But you couldn't do the washable pens with the stencil mm. because it would wash out and the stencil would be gone. So you wouldn't, or you could if you wanted to constantly change the stencil. If you wanted to have a t-shirt that you constantly changed the stencil on, you could use the washable pens, couldn't you? Because mm -hmm. every time you washed it, you could put a new stencil on there. Mm -hmm. So you could do that, yeah. Just like with the washable pens with the iron on. Yeah, like you use with... Yeah, with the yeah. other t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think you've done a really good job. Well done.